Anyone should be able to walk safely on their own lawn, but painful burrs concealed in the grass can stick to your clothes or skin. Lawn burrweed, also known as spurweed or stickerweed, will produce prickly burrs that will hook and stick to your clothes or skin if they come in contact. In this video, we'll show you how to identify burrweed, how to get rid of it from your property, and how to prevent it from coming back. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods costing you time and money. Lawn burrweed is a low-growing weed that will grow up to 6 inches in diameter and up to 4 inches in height. The stems grow prostrate or along the ground and are covered in tiny hairs. The leaves grow in an opposite arrangement, are covered in tiny hairs too, and develop narrow, deep lobes. The leaves typically are 0.5 to 1.5 inches in length and 0.25 to 0.5 inches in width. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Lawn burrweed is considered a winter annual weed. It germinates in moist, thin turf during fall and winter. The plant remains small and inconspicuous during these cooler seasons, but as the weather warms for spring, the plant grows and will begin to form burrs. This weed grows well where turf is stressed and in areas that see full or partial sunlight. Common sites include, but are not limited to, residential lawns, playgrounds, and recreational areas. Burrweed seeds easily spread when the burrs stick to passing people or animals, or when lawns are simply mowed. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE and remember to keep people and pets out of the treated areas until products dry completely. To control lawn burrweed growing in warm season turf, we recommend Fahrenheit herbicide. If you're in the northern United States with cool season turf, we'll provide a different product recommendation later in the video when we cover prevention. Back to Fahrenheit, this product is a water dispersible granule made with dicamba and metsulfuron methyl. To control lawn burrweed, the label explicitly states that you may apply 4 to 6 ounces of the product mixed in 20 to 80 gallons of water to treat one acre of treatment area. In smaller spaces, we recommend the listed spot application rate of 0.2 ounces of the product mixed into one gallon of water to be applied over 1,000 square feet. Keep in mind that when making applications over St. Augustine grass, Bermuda grass, or Zoysia grass, temporary stunting or chlorosis may occur. For these smaller applications, we recommend you mix and apply your product in a handheld sprayer. Spot treat any lawn burrweed you found during your inspection. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the leaves are fully coated and spray the weed to the point of wet but not run off. Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. A follow-up application may be necessary if signs of recovery are observed. A reapplication with Fahrenheit may be made after four to six weeks. Applications are most effective when plants are newly emerged before flower formation. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. If you're situated in the northern United States with cool season grasses, then we recommend Expel Turf Herbicide. Expel Turf Herbicide is a suspended concentrate made with sulfentrazone. This product has both post-emergent and pre-emergent applications, but will focus on its pre-emergent uses for now. Pre-emergent herbicides create chemical barriers that stop weed seeds from sprouting or emerging. To prevent lawn burr weed from growing in cool season turf, mix 4 to 8 fluid ounces of concentrate in at least 10 gallons of water to apply over 1 acre. You may also apply this product over warm season turf at the mix rate of 8 to 12 fluid ounces of concentrate in at least 10 gallons of water to apply over 1 acre. Due to this product's high volume applications, high capacity equipment like a spray rig may be necessary. Once your product is thoroughly mixed, broadcast your solution evenly over the area. This application should be done when the targeted weeds have not yet sprouted. If seeds have already emerged, then you'll need to use a post-emergent herbicide as discussed earlier. In addition to pre-emergent products, we also recommend you promote the health of your turf to reduce the conducive conditions that allow weeds and disease to take hold. 
Mow your grass at proper intervals to maintain a thick growing density. Reduce the shade cast on your lawn by trimming overgrown shrubbery and tree branches. Rake away leaf litter and pick up any debris. And employ a proper watering schedule to provide the local grass with enough water to strengthen its roots, but not so much that will encourage weeds. Many grasses require one inch of water every week. Apply the water all at once in the morning so it has time to seep into the ground without evaporating in the sun. Also, consider applying a fertilizer like Solutions 15510 Weed and Feed with Trimec. This product is a slow-release fertilizer that will provide lawns with essential nutrients and fight against weed development. With a push spreader, apply 3.2 to 4 pounds of product per 1,000 square feet. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop weeds like lawn burrweed from growing on your property, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.